Rick Ross and his group ran into some problems at a Vancouver festival earlier this month, and the story instantly went viral. According to video that went viral, Ross was the reason why Kendrick Lamar's song Not Like Us playing in the background while he was being attacked. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't seem like he was really hurt, but it's not surprised that it made him the target of a lot of internet clowning. But Rick Ross isn't going to take jokes about the crazy situation lightly. According to Bobby, recently, the rapper attacked Rose on social media, claiming that he had kicked him off a gig for making jokes about the attack. I don't fuck with you on like no gangster shit. Like y'all artists has gotta understand this. I don't he appeared irritated by the circumstances, stating unequivocally that he has no personal grudge toward Ross, and wondering why he wasn't informed directly. Why you ain't call me, big homie? Why I gotta get the call from niggas? Bobby clarifies in the video that he respects Ross's business acumen. He doesn't see why he couldn't just give him a call because of this. Rather, he says he learned that someone else had fired him from the show. Talking about, yo, Rick Ross kicked you off the show. He continued, saying that in the video he had made in reaction to the jumping event, he was actually defending Ross. This is accurate, but at the same time, it seemed like he was criticizing Ross for how he handled the situation. He claimed that in that circumstance, he would have gone out like C. Murda. It was reported earlier this week that the game would lose his house as Priscilla Rainey, his purported victim of abuse, pursues her $7 million judgment. Although this is undoubtedly bad news for the How We Do performer, Rick Ross seems to be feeling more upbeat about it. Recently, he appeared to be making fun of himself on Instagram when he shared an all-hip-hop post regarding the possible seizure. The game, predictably, was not amused by this and swiftly responded via direct messages. Even if I lost my house, which I'm not, you still gon' be a fat BTCH and a he told Ross. That Ozbik gon' kill you before the Twinkies do ho a n a. He went on to share the DMs on his Instagram story, tagging Ross. Since we had n n a, he added, here you got BH at Rich Forever. One thing man, if your money ain't right, man, you gotta plan years and years. Ross responded by posting a video on his own Instagram story, stating unequivocally that he does not feel sorry for the game. That's why you hustle, right? You hustle hard, you hustle wise. Can't be an emotional square me and a cause NS is gonna sit back and toast. Toast. I mean they can't wait to toast to your demise. The mother of Rick Ross's child, Tia Kemp, is well known for her outrageous activities on social media. All in all, she has been a real pain in Ross's side. He constantly makes fun of him on social media. Moreover, everything has only gotten worse once the artist discovered that he was being attacked in Canada. Throughout the feud, she has even taken Drake's side, which has resulted in some amusing social media posts. Kemp now has an entirely new stage on which to disparage Ross. We are discussing her just released anti podcast on Zeus Network, of course. She, Carlissa Saffold, and even Tokyo Tony host the program. Your algorithm should be alarmed by this lineup. The game, who is also at odds with Rick Ross, was recently featured on the program. Kemp appeared to be in a good mood as a result. Tia would let me give her a lap dance, and she'd give me one back. I don't pay for nothing. Come on. All in all, she was with someone who disliked Raze as much as she did. She then proceeded to give the game a lap dance as a result. Boss yeah. might get mad, but hey, <laughs> dog, fine, man. Hey, Even though the fans at home weren't startled by anything, Tokyo Tony and Saffold certainly weren't. The episode went up last night, and at the same time as the video, it went viral. This show is going to be a reliable source of viral videos, if anything. There are already two or three snippets from the game episode that have people in disbelief at what they're seeing. Rick Ross has continued to apply pressure. He hasn't stopped criticizing Drake on social media or in public, even if it seems like the bigger feud is gone. In fact, it's been going on for so long that Tia Kemp, Ross' baby mama, has entered the fray. A diss track directed towards Ross was released by Kemp over the instrumental to his own song, Hustlin'. She also made fun of the rapper when he appeared to be harassed for performing Not Like Us Live in Canada. But what really got Ross upset was a comment Tia Kemp made on Instagram on July 1st. Kemp immediately showered the rapper with compliments after Drake shared a picture on Instagram. She left two emojis in the comment box that looked like stars. Never one to pass up the chance to engage in passive aggression. Drake called Kemp my goat. Rick Ross responded to both parties with a vicious jab after this conversation. After tagging Drake, he replied, Pedo vs Granny. It was a direct jab at Drake and Tia Kemp, nothing deep and subtle. There have already been arguments between Ross and Kemp on social media. The two got into a violent argument about child support payments in June. In honor of Father's Day, Ross said that he was free from having to pay child support for his son with Kemp. What would you rather celebrate, Father's Day or the date of your last child support payment? That's a good one. See, that's when the bitch was his regular self did. Rick Ross celebrated what he says is his last child support payment on Father's Day. But Tia Kemp, the mother of one of his children, called him out in a post of her own. What if your last child support payment was on Father's Day weekend? That's what you call divine divinity. You stupid silly mother. Who the 
give a fuck about your child support payments, bitch. Ross claimed on social media that it was a sign of divine divinity since the holiday fell during the same week as his last payout. And if I want some more, I take my ass over to family court and get some while he going to college. Soon after, Kemp appeared with a video of her own and declared that Ross would continue to pay child support for a number of children for many more years. You gotta worry about them eight or nine you over there you got that you gonna be paying child support for till you're about 70 years. Kemp has made disparaging remarks about Ross on the internet before. When Ross appeared on the new song Everyday Hustle with Future and Metro Boomin, he referred to the mother as his biggest opus. Drake! Call me boobs. Amid Ross and Drake's fight, Tia Kemp, Rick Ross's ex-girlfriend, and Christina Mackey came out in favor of Drake. Although Mackey was more subdued in her choice of side, Kemp, with whom Ross has a child, volunteered to provide the Toronto rapper access to confidential information about Ross. Drake! Call me boobs. I got something to tell you. Kemp said in a video on social media directed at Drake. She went on to explain that she doesn't understand why so many artists are hating on Drake at the moment. When Hollywood Unlocked shared the post, many fans took Ross' side. I don't like my children's father but I can bet you, I'll never go against him for a op, one said. Another wrote, I feel sorry for Ross. Gotta be careful, fellas. You can't just plant a seed in any garden for her part. Mackie shared a video of herself listening to Drake's track, Energy. With his recently leaked diss tune, Push Ups, Drake took shots at Ross, prompting a nearly instantaneous response from the musician. Drake later called Ross racist on social media for referring to him as white in the song. In an Instagram video, Ross retorted, Tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly, subscribe. See you.